Once again, a very good morning to to you, and welcome to another beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, the Friday, the eighth of January, twenty twenty one. The time here in London is coming up to exactly ten fifty one a.m. And this morning, uh, you will have the benefit to look at why we say it is time that we start thinking of what benefit you might get when you support the agitation for a Yoruba self-determination out of Nigeria. This morning, I want to prove again to millions of Nigerians that still believe that Nigeria will work. This morning, in a very cold winter, I want to assure you that until everyone understands that Nigeria can never work, a lot of people will say Nigeria has got bad leadership. I disagree with that. Nigeria was merged as a country by Great Britain where they have access to quality lives, have access to basic things of life. UK citizens does not even understand why Nigerians are living here. A lot of British believe that we should not be here because Nigeria has vast amount of resources. But what they do not understand as British is Great Britain colonize us and also merge us with the Fulani and the northern part of the country. And that is why millions of Nigerians are trying to make their way to this country for living for benefit, for welfare, rather than live in Nigeria that Great Britain colonized. So the question we should be asking ourselves is, who wants to keep that country called Nigeria? Who are those individuals? Are they the politicians? Are they also the, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the, the international community that are milking, benefiting from Nigeria? How many of you understand that 1914 amalgamation that we've been discussing for a very long time was one reason why myself and you are living outside the country that does not belong to us? Do you understand that the reason why we are living outside the shore of our land is because our land is no longer safe because the Fulanese are now ready to take over the land if care is not taken? Some of you will say that, um, you know, does it matter? We can change, you know, the, you know, the, the dimension. We can bring in a, a new political party. We can allow the Yoruba to become the next politician to govern us as president. But the question we should then ask ourselves is, what have they done in the last 20 years of the democracy? What have they literally done for you in your state? So, uh, be a water and agitate our land problem. So, in time you want be a in on this in it, say I want tea, walk back, be a tea, one in democracy. Are you sure we are practicing democracy at all? The question we should ask ourselves is there's no democracy in that country. The country is not working. As we speak right now, people cannot have three square meal. As we speak right now, the insecurity in the country is making a lot of people to lose hope. In the country that is meant to be one of the best countries in the world, based on the amount of resources that we have. But what has happened? We've seen millions and millions of people dying every day for the negligence of a system that are failed. And why has that system failed? It's because this country, Great Britain, was the one that merged us together as one. We were never one. We were a kingdom on our own. And we will continue to be a kingdom. But the reason why people don't understand that we are suffering is because the country is literally going down. And those of you that live in UK and America and you are supporting, you know, this contraction you call Nigeria. What I'll say to you is you are one of those individuals. You are one of those that are also creating the problem for us. You live in America. You live in Canada, you live in Germany, you live in France. And because you have access to quality life, 
you are now saying to those in Nigeria to go to the church, to go to the mosque, to pray. When you have access to your dream, do you know that the only time you can have a quality dream is when you leave the offshore of Nigeria? And those of you that say, you know, Nigeria has been in existence, who created Nigeria? And for what purpose was Nigeria created? Was Nigeria created for us? Or was it created for the purpose of those that are milking it? Now the question is, can we change everything now? Election is not going to happen in 2023. That for sure, we are not going to go for another election. So if you're thinking at the back of your mind that we will go for another election, you are wasting your time because election has literally not done anything good. It has done more chaos. Do you know that more people have died during election that we have been doing since 1999? Let's come back again and ask this question. The 1914 amalgamation, what was the reason behind it? What was the benefit of it? Why were we matched together? Who created Nigeria? Why was Nigeria created? And those of you, youth in Nigeria, that you are still thinking that, you know, Nigeria will become a beautiful place. You are deceiving yourself because Nigeria cannot be a beautiful place. Nigeria is hopeless. Nigeria cannot work. Nigeria is not designed to work. You have the north controlling every resources around the country. They are in the NMPC. They are in the Nigerian Port Authority. They are in the banking sector. They are in the industry that should be creating jobs for you. But they are sitting down there making life miserable for you. But yet, you are still supporting all these politicians. All you have been at home, university student, for the last 10 months. Have you not thought about it? Have you not think about it? That why have I sat down at home for 10 months when things should have been different? If truly Nigeria was working as its claim, you know, the most populous nation and the, you know, the most black populous, all that is 419. Don't believe what the white media are telling you. The white media knows that this country, where you are looking at people, businesses all over the place, enjoying, have access to quality life, good roads, everyone is taken care of, right? This is a council vehicle, as you can see there. That means this council vehicle makes sure that every home that is within this particular area, the London borough of Hackney, is well taken care of. But they are deceiving you. One part of you, they keep telling you lies. But you know why? Because the white media is also part of the game. They know that until you believe that Nigeria is working, it will work. The question you should be asking the white media is, when actually is Nigeria going to work? That country is not going to work. You have been told lies, lies upon lies. Every businesses in this country have access to good loans. They have access to quality life. They have access to everything. That is why Nigeria is never going to work. Nigeria is not going to work, so you should not deceive yourself that one day the country will eventually work. Now, ask yourself, this is a country where businesses, everyone have access to, you know, quality life. You know, people are, yeah, I mean, people work very hard. You know, don't be deceived that people are not working hard. People work extremely hard in this country to make a living. In this very cold weather, People work extremely hard. Some of them are doing three jobs to send money back to Nigeria. If Nigeria was working, why then are we sending money home to those of you in Nigeria? If Nigeria has all these vast amount of resources, how come then the diaspora are sending over 20 billion US dollars into that country to make your life better? But yet, you sit down in Nigeria, you keep chatting that Nigeria is going to work, one day Nigeria will become a good a, a good country that is all the lies that you have been told by the foreign media the foreign media have literally convinced so many of us giving us the impression that nigeria will be good do you know as we speak right now the inflation in nigeria is about 31 percent exchange rate as of this morning is exactly about 630 naira to one pound that means life will become more miserable for millions of you why are we telling you all this? It is time now to back away from those politicians that are deceiving you, those politicians that are telling you all kind of lies that this country called Nigeria will be great. There's nothing great about Nigeria. And some of you do not understand. Even Scotland wants to break away from the union called Great Britain. 
in Scotland that have access to quality life, they have good education, you know, the environment is good, it's almost the same thing you're looking here is replicated in Scotland. But yet, Scottish people want to have their own independence away from, the, uh, from, uh, from Great Britain. Northern Ireland is not interested to be part of this union because they want to have their own independence. 1701 was when this country merged with Scottish. But now, in 2020, in 21st century, they are saying they've had enough of this union because they don't want to be part of it. If Great Britain, Great Britain can come out of EU after 35 years of the marriage, who is then telling us that we cannot come out of Nigeria? Who is deceiving you? Who is giving you the impression that Nigeria cannot break? Who is telling you that we should be together? What is Nigeria? Nigeria was not there when the Yoruba, the Igbo, and the Aousa were having their kingdom. It was Lugard, the nasty contraction Lugard, in the conjunction of Great Britain, that merged us together. So why should you then start campaigning and say, oh, you know, you guys shut up there, you know, let us keep Nigeria. Who are you keeping Nigeria for? Who are you, you, I'm asking you, who are you keeping Nigeria for, right? Who are you keeping Nigeria for? That shit contraction must go down. It has literally killed millions of dreams. And it is time now that you wake up and understand that the reason why the diaspora are agitating is because we understand, you know, the quality of life that we live here. We have a life, you know, you can see that young man there is charging his mobile phone right on the pot there. Can you see him there? Right. So you cannot understand why we are agitating. We are not agitating for anything. And this is not a coup. We are saying that according to the United Nations chapter, we have the total right to break away from a country that is not our own. Our culture is being missing. Our language is going to go into extinction. And we are also about to be killed by Fulani. So when you sit down in UK with your own children, I'm now talking to the diaspora that are supporting those contraction politicians at home. You live here in the United Kingdom. Your children are doing very well. Your children are well taken care of. Have you thought about the children in Nigeria today that do not have access to good education? They do not have electricity. They do not have anything working for them. So who then is saying that we should keep Nigeria? Why are we keeping Nigeria? Oh, you are keeping Nigeria for Tinubu? Or you are keeping Nigeria for those in the north? Or you are keeping Nigeria for those in the south? Who literally is Nigeria? Who are Nigerians? We are not Nigerians. We were something before Great Britain came and colonized us. And you can see behind me the quality of life that people are living. So one thing you got to understand is every time we come out and show you, you know, all these places, you need to understand that the reason why life is working for the people here is because this country, right, have taken so much from Africa. They have brought it down here and they are still doing the same thing. Now they have come out of EU, and yet you can you see the amount of black people here? That is the damage that they've done across the continent. Do you know the reason why a lot of black people are living here? Is the damage that they've done across the continent. That is why we are here. You know whether they are from Jamaica, whether they are from you know Africa. Everybody wants to come and live in UK. Do you know why? Because the quality of life in UK is far better than the quality of life in Africa. In Africa, where you are thinking, you know, if there is a hope, there will be never be a hope for you. That country is a contraction, and it is time now that you understand that that country will kill you if you continue to support it. Why are we saying all this? We want you to see, you know, the exposure that you've never seen before. We want you to see that the reason why these pharmacies will continue to take care of the people in this area, and you don't have to pay money, at least only a few people will pay money, but majority of the people have access to good health care, they have access to good living, they have access to everything that you can think of. But you now, you stay in Nigeria and you are supporting PDP, APC, but what you don't understand is when your wife now wants to give birth, that politician refused to take your call. That politician is running away from you. That same politician that you are sacrificing yourself for that same politician that you are running all over the place would then not be able to available to give you the good health care 
Do you know that one of our Yoruba actress died? May her soul rest in peace. Do you know why she died? Orishabumi, I'm sure some of you must have heard the story. She died because there was no oxygen in the hospital. What a contraction. What a country. A country that has the sixth largest crude oil producer in the world. Orishabumi died because there was no oxygen. Oh, you don't know. There are millions of people that died every day, every year in that street O for no oxygen. But because it does not come onto your news, do you know why the reason why Orishabumi one came up? Because Orishabumi is a very popular actress. But some of them are also to be blamed. Oh, there. If those of those politicians continue to use actors and actresses, what they do not understand is one day that actor, that actress will go into hospital. Could they need to see oxygen? They are sitting down now. I won't only know what sorrow. But one drake, big one, take that it doesn't concern them. But when they die, don't feel any pity for them. Because when they were alive, they should have been using their, their actresses, their actors, and all these to tell the contraction country that it is not working. But rather, they were deceiving us as well. They were promoting the politician. I've already seen a video coming out of those promoting Tinubu for 2023. They live in Canada. They live in America. But they are promoting Tinubu. They are promoting Tinubu from London. They are promoting Tinubu from this country. They are promoting Tinubu from France, from Germany. Those are your problem as well. Because those ones are not going to come home. They are not going to come home. They will live very comfortable here. I mean, yeah, it's very cold. As you can see, the jacket I'm putting on as well. It is very cold. But one thing we are saying is, enough of those that still believe that Nigeria is going to work. More of those Yoruba actresses will die. Do you know why? They will die. Because they refuse to tell the, their followers that that country is not working. But because they have a little bit of money, they think that they can go to the hospital. But they forgot that that hospital will not have oxygen. Oxygen. Do you know that oxygen is one of the most cheapest things that people in this country sometimes move oxygen within you know their houses because some of them have health implications. But those of you that are now saying that uh, you know you know why do we say all these things? We have been telling them they all refuse. The same way a king, a Yoruba king, was killed. Do you know that we've not found the, the person that killed the Yoruba king? The Yoruba king was killed by a kidnapper. A Fulani kidnapper. He was shot dead. Up to now, nobody knows who killed the KBOC of Ifon. All those other kings that are keeping quiet, I hope one day Fulani does not kill you as well because you all refuse to do the right thing. You have kept quiet while millions of Nigerians are suffering around the world. Not just Nigerians, but the Yorubas are suffering. The Biafra are suffering. Have you ever seen the Aousa man traveling out of Nigeria? No, they are not interested in that. Because they know that the milk that they are milking from that shit old called Nigeria is the reason why they don't have to live here. They don't want to live here because it is too cold for them. But you, as a Yoruba person, as Igbo person, you are living outside the country, sending money home to your loved ones so that they can survive. But your loved ones do not believe that we should break away. Why should we keep Nigeria? 1914 amalgamation is one of the most fraudulent things that have happened to mankind and it is time now that we rewrite history and we end it peacefully or it goes bloodshed it doesn't matter which whichever way it's either we go bloodshed or we go peacefully but we are telling the international community we are giving them enough warning we are engaging at the moment we are we are doing the diplomacy at the moment but at some point all that might be thrown into the basket and we will not have time to engage in any kind of diplomacy anymore. Then we would have to go fight to fight to get what belongs to us. If this country thinks that you know Nigeria will continue to exist, whether they are backing them, whether it is France, it's America, whether it's I don't give a shit whichever country is backing them. Let them understand that they will have to kill millions of us. Millions of us, if not, this country, that country that is still supporting them. At the moment, there is a petition. Go and sign those petitions. There is a force majeure. They have given the federal government 90 days. The federal government is ignoring it like nothing is happening. But what the federal government do not understand is they cannot kill every one of us. They must be prepared for the danger ahead. You can see the Biafra, the ESN security. The federal government does not even know what they will engage with every one of us. 
They are probably thinking this was in the 60s, you know, in the 70s, in the 50s. The game is going to change this time around. The game is going to be interesting. The world media will beam back into that country and they will be reporting it. But at the moment, they are not interested. They are more interested in Donald Trump leaving the office at the moment. But when the real problem starts in that contraction, then they will understand that none of us are joking. The Biafra are not joking. The Niger Delta are not joking. The Southwest are not joking. Enough is enough. We have millions of Yoruba people all over the world in this country suffering when we have the best natural resources that we can sit down in our own land and do the best thing. But do you know why it's not working? Because the Fulani is now interested to partnership with China, fucking China, to now come and take over our land. Do you know that Chinese or China disrespect so many black people in their country? But now we have them building factories, you know, working in different sectors. But what they don't understand is, we will come for every one of them. The land belongs to us. Does not, it doesn't matter whether they buy it, whether they've leased it. Who cares about that? When the real problems start, they will have to evacuate them out of our land. Because that land belongs to me and you. Look at it. As I say, every day I come out and I feel the cold. That is how the danger will fix you as well when the time comes. You might say it's just blabbing, it's on social media, it's in London, it's doing that. I understand. It's very easy for you to castigate us and say we live in Europe, you know, that's why we are making noise. We cannot do the same thing when we come to Nigeria. But what they don't understand is we have millions of people that are watching us. Millions of people that are, we are convincing every day and we are telling them that the only way out is if we do not go peaceful, we go violent. Violent is the only language they understand around the world. For every day I come out, and that's why I don't wear the gloves, I want to feel the cold in my hands so that you that are still thinking that we will not break that country, we will break it up. I can assure you that. Enough of us are tired. 20 years out of the country, 40 years out of the country, 35 years out of the country, but we can't make it back home because the country is not working for us. So those of you that are now saying, what is the gain? What are we going to benefit? Oh, you don't know what you're going to benefit. You don't know that. Let me give you an example. Go and watch my broadcast that we did, um, was it yesterday or day before yesterday, when I was showing Disney World. Do you know the value of Disney World? Disney World is not a country. Oh, you don't know that? I'll explain to you. Uh, I want to turn the, but I'm going to pop out and come back in for just about a few minutes. Full. So I need to, you know, delete some of the apps because so that I can be turning the camera around. So I'm going to move a little bit and I'll continue to show you. This is where I am. It's called the A10 Dustin Acne A014. And as you can see, this is what we expect, you know, an advanced Yoruba system that will be working for everyone, every one of us, including those of you outside. Now, let me say this. Let me come back. Let me come back. Some of you will say, you know, can we stand on our own as Yoruba people, as Biafra people, as Middle Belt? You are crazy. You don't know that the world now is more of human brain. It is what you know now. You know, let, let me show you this doggy doggy. What is the name of the dog? Ziggy. Ziggy. You see? Dog is even much better. Let me show my followers. You can see the dog is even much better. Look at how fresh the dog is. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough, Ziggy. Ziggy, be quick, 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 keep quiet. Look at how fresh the dog is. Dog is well more respected than that zoological that you call Nigeria. That's Shito. Look at the dog. Look at how fresh the dog is. Do you know that there are millions of Nigerians that are not even as, 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 as robust as that dog? Do you know that? Oh, you would know because you are not living there. Now, let me come back into, uh, you know, what I was saying. Do you know that um, the, the Disney World, do you know the value of it? I was giving you the statistics yesterday. Is what 202 billion US dollars. That is not a country. If a company with 77,000 staff is what 202 billion US dollars. So then, why come Nigeria has not made so much money? All the money has been kept away in Europe, especially here in UK. All the stolen Nigerian money is in this country. We know that because even one of the MP told us during the NSAS that Gowon took half of the central bank right here in this country. 
go back to 1984, July 16, when Umaru Diko was about to be kidnapped by this shit O you call Buari, that man that have died long time ago, and they are deceiving you that Asorok has Buari. That is an imposter. Whether you believe it or not, that is your own cup of tea. I don't care. But what you need to understand is, uh, let me show you. You see, this is not, uh, you know, like uh, your own transport system. But because people are well taken care of, they have good jobs, so that means it's not controlled by Enso Luomo, and that means every journey matters. But in that contraction you call Nigeria, the reason why you don't have good quality transportation in Lagos, in Ekiti, in Anambra, is because every one of them is giving it to the hoodlums to control. It is not done like that. You can see the ambulance. Eight minutes, they have to get to their location. Eight minutes before somebody died. But in Nigeria, only ambulance is meant for the rich. Only ambulance is meant for the rich and nothing more than that. So now, let me come back to the, what I was saying in terms of Disney. Do you know that Disney is worth 202 billion US dollars? Have you asked yourself, why is a company making so much money with only 77,000 staff when you cannot make money as a country called Nigeria? Who is deceiving you? Stop fooling yourself that Nigeria is working because you are still making money there. It is not going to work for you because why? One day you will get sick and you get to the hospital, they don't have oxygen. One day you are traveling to Anambra, or you are going to Kaduna, or you are going to Abekuta, and criminals will kill you. Do you know that I saw a Yoruba man? Yeah, we have criminals in Yoruba as well, just the same like we have other tribes as well. But when we have a country that is working, we will make sure that every crime is solved. It doesn't matter how big, how small, but in Nigeria of today, nobody solves any crime. Injustice everywhere. Some of you might not understand, that the injustice that is taking place has been going on for a very long time and the world that you're expecting to break up Nigeria is looking at it and taking their eyes away like nothing is happening. Do you know that the amount of people that have been killed in Nigeria, if that was in this country, this country would have been shut down. Only one person died last year, George Floyd. Look at the whole damage that was done around the world. Do you know that 110 rice farmers were killed and the world just took away like nothing has happened? Do you know that people were killed in Oyibo? And the world closed their eyes like that, like nothing has happened. Do you know that the world closed their eyes like nothing has happened with Lekki Massacre? Look at it now. Can you see? Can you see the police? This is what you expect if a country is working. You have the police services that is working. You have them working and doing their job. But in that contraction, right? In that contraction, it is not done. This is what we expect to happen. But it is not done like that. You can see. This police officer is meant to respect you, but in that shit oh, they are not going to respect you. You can see that they are waving at me because they know the law. I know the law. But one thing a lot of you don't understand is you are so quick to say, oh, you know, why, why do you guys want to break up the country? Look, it's better we fight now for the next generation than we continue to stay under Fulani. Do you know the meaning of Fulani? These are nomadic people that move around. They don't have life. They don't want to be educated. They don't want to do anything. And you cannot change their mindset in a thousand years. A thousand years means about ten generations. So that means by the time I'm gone, I will have to wait for another eight generations before we can say maybe Fulani will change. Again, let's come back to Disney World. Disney World is making 200 billion US dollars. But you have a country where crude oil is bring to this country oh you don't know that do you know that they bring our crude oil to refine here and now they take it back again that has been the nepotism that has been taking place for a very long time but a lot of you are so much very happy you love it that way because you have british passport you have american passport you only go on for two weeks you impress the people there and then you return back to your base you work hard again and you want to come back no we don't want to do that anymore let us have a passport that is working just like biafra we have their passport they will have their nation and let me also say this to all our yoruba people that always quick to say oh you know the Igbo have taken all over our southwest area i have said it and i will continue to say it when we have a yoruba nation they will have to deal with us based on our new constitution it does not matter how would we deal with the same way i have lived here for over two decades do you know what that means i respect the law of this country I know my limit and I know my push, 
But everything we are still doing now, they can't do any jack shit. I've told you that. Britain cannot do any jack shit. But when it becomes where maybe you are doing something that the law does not allow you to do, that is when they will come after you. Oh, you think they are not watching me? Oh, they are watching me, but they are watching me because I am not a threat at the moment to the society. I am not a threat to the British government, but I have the right to call Great Britain because they brought us into this mess. They kept us into this mess. You see, pigeons are even more well taken care of. Look at how fresh they are. Go and look at the pigeon in Nigeria. You will see that they have already, you know, I saw one uh, in a lion in Kaduna Zoo. The lion looks like it has been starved for over one year. Can you see? Can you see the pigeon? Pigeon is even well more taken care of than those of you in Nigeria. Can you see how fresh they look? Can you see how fresh they look? So now, let me say this again and again. Nigeria will end. But some of you wants to know what happened. Can we stand on our own? Hey, shut up your mouth. You don't even understand what we have as Yoruba people. You don't even know what we have in terms of our resources. You don't even know what we have as human capacity. You don't even know what we have as the brain around the world and inside that contraction you call Nigeria. As we speak right now, let us say to the world, to the international community, come and break that shit all. Do it now peacefully. When it goes violent, it will be too late. At the moment, we are still doing engagement. At the moment, we are still talking to the people. But when it gets to a stage, it might change. The dimension has changed. I was told that the Nigerian government has purchased four fighter jets from Pakistan. And I hope when we break away, Pakistan will understand that every country that is selling weapons to Nigerian government because they know that something might be coming up very soon. The, fight, the fighter jet, from what I'm told, has been purchased by Roti Miyamechi, and they are also training people to fight, you know, to, to, make, uh, to, to be able to make use of it. It doesn't matter. Let them buy more 20 fighter jets. Nigeria will break. Let them export more fighters to come into our land. Nigeria will break. It doesn't matter. Let them bring more, more people what they don't understand this time around is the game is going to change from what it used to be. The game is going to change from what it looks like in the 60s when they used to fight those conventional war. This time around, we are saying we want to go peacefully, but if it doesn't go peaceful, we will go the other way around. Let me show you again. This is one particular area. There's nothing special about it, but the only difference is maintenance, well taken care of, people being paid for what they do is not the same shit where People are stealing so much money and people are suffering for that purpose as well. Again and again, my name is Ola Yomikoiki. Uh, one minute, okay. Uh, the time now is exactly 11.24. As I continue to say to you, let us break away peacefully. Let us stand as a country of our own called a Yoruba nation, a Biafra nation, a Middle Belt. Also, the first major, that fraudulent 1999 constitution that constitution that has kept us you know as as a slave for so long that constitution that is not working that constitution that has literally make life unbearable for our people that constitution that is one of the reason why you don't have electricity that constitution is one of the reason why you don't have you know police that can take care of you that constitution is the reason why you are all suffering and we are saying, let us come together, let us work together, and let us now unite together in one force and bring down that country so that life can be more meaningful. So you don't have to be looking for American visa, UK visa. Look, we are tired. We want to come back to our land. You might be thinking that, oh, but you live in UK. Well, you know, why are you stressing yourself? This young man, you know, whether you want to call me young man or old man, it doesn't matter. Or young boy, you know, I look very fresh. It's because of the weather. I want to rather be in my own land than being in this country. Let me say this to everyone. For every day you are outside your land, you are promoting, you are helping another man's land. Whether you are in Asia, whether you are in Europe, whether you are in America, whether you are in UK, it doesn't matter wherever you are. You are literally supporting the system of another man's land. And for as long as you are there, 
you are only yeah they're paying you for the job a lot of people get paid for a good job you know and a lot of people are doing good business but have you not thought of doing the same thing in your own land have you not thought of doing the same thing that you are doing now everything you can do the same thing any job it doesn't matter look it doesn't matter whether you are doing cleaning kitchen porter you are engineer it consultant business person it does not matter everything you are doing now let us think about doing it in our own land that way we can promote our land we can develop our land we can do business and now yesterday as well i was showing you uh, you know the you know uh let me show you this you know you see these are you know these are companies that are working you know doing different things we can do all these things everything you are looking at there's nothing special here let me tell you there's nothing special most of what you're looking now most of these things that have been designed are also have the intact of the of the of the black people as well now look at the pharmacies i just showed you right i was showing you earlier on and now have you ever thought of why you don't have access to those health care so let me repeat it again and again why are we agitating what is the reason behind it the reason behind it is i want to have a yoruba passport i'm not interested in a british passport i'm not interested in an american passport let us have a yoruba nation and we can compete with them in 10 years you will see whether you will live in this country or you will go back home they know that they know that when a Yoruba nation stands on its own, oh, they know that things will change. But they don't want you to, you know, you know, they, they want us to continue to live outside our land and then, you know, we become immigrants, you know, when you go back home. And now, for those of you that are saying that, um, you know, things will change, stop being, don't fool yourself. Nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to change. Do you know what is going to change? Fulani are going to get more of your land. And the Yoruba bastard politician, they are ready to sell it for peanuts to the Fulani, the Chinese, and the Pakistan. Do you know that? Do you know that the Chinese have been buying so many land and they've probably been digging and, be, you know, extracting some of the, you know, the natural resources that is underneath our land? They'll probably cover it up. They'll tell you they are doing farming. But all that is lies. So what we are saying is, the reason why we are agitating, we want to make sure that our nation, our nation can compete with this country. Our nation can compete with Germany. So that people are not going through the Mediterranean Sea. People are not running around, you know, trying to survive. People are not running around trying to come to this country because they believe that this country is the only, that, you know, people look at it as God. You know, people look at, look, a white man goes to the toilet. That's what you don't know. But because you are in Nigeria, you look at them as, you know, inferior complex, you know, you look, no, they are, they are just the same people like us. But the only difference they have is their country has given them opportunity. Their country has given them hope. But in Nigeria of today, you don't have hope. You don't have opportunity. And that will remain a big obstacle for you. So why then are you saying that, you know, white man is different from us? They are not different. The only difference is, you know, they are being taken care of. You know, they have access to almost everything that they can think of. But you now, sitting down in that contraction, sitting down at home, you know, and asking yourself, ah, I would love to go to UK. Yes, it's good to come to UK. But the only difference is, you will just be suffering the same way we have suffered for the last two decades. But if a Yoruba nation, a Biafra nation, a Middle Belt, if truly, even if truly Nigeria was working, if truly that shit old contraction was working, none of us would have been here in the first place. But because it is not working, that is why we are where we are today. It's because it is not working. If it was working, why should we be here? But you don't understand that. You are just thinking that, ah, I want to come to London as well. You know, even if it's Kishin Potter, even if, no, 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 shut up your mouth. If we have a nation that is working, call our own nation. You don't, nobody needs to travel out of the world. Nobody. Because everything you are looking for, everything we are looking for, is right at home. But the difference is, we are under a country that is not our name. We are under a country that does not belong to us. We are under a country that does not value human rights. We are under a country that has been merged. And that is creating a lot of problem for us. 
our identity, our real identity has been distorted. Our real identity as Yoruba people has been kind of, you know, turn around and some people say oh you know it's because you know there is that it's now time for a yoruba you know a politician to become president is a time for Igbo? oh Igbo all that Igbo. is eh? <laughs> all that is nonsense you understand all that is bullshit all that is 419 the politician knows the game and they are using some of our diaspora they live here they probably pay them maybe ten thousand dollars or one thousand pounds and they start doing their own media and they start telling you oh you know nigeria is working tell them to come back to that country that is working a country for 60 years cannot provide electricity 60 years cannot pro and some people will say rome was not built in one day shut up your mouth what do you mean rome was not built in one day how many of you that you well qualified right compared to the north where they are not even well educated than us but they are controlling every resources that belongs to us and they think that we should continue that way we have our elderly that should have returned back home they are still living here because they can't go back home they can't go back home because there's no home for them to go back to they can't go back home because there's no home to go back to so as i say my name is Olayo Mikoiki, and i hope you know we've been able to again you know this is dustin market where there's a, quite a lot of uh, you know africans you know they do their shopping but they can't live home they can't come back home you know some of them are in their 60s in their 70s they want to come back home but there is no home to come back to there is no home right and if you think can you see that i'm sure you probably saw that you know this was in a capital ill you know look at it again the flu virus kills thousands every year. The flu vaccine is the best protection for you and those around you. Just get your free, free flu jab. Can you see that? 10,000 people hospitalized with COVID. Again, for those of you that think COVID is not real, uh, COVID is real. We keep saying that all the time. I understand those of you in Nigeria, you say it's uh, audio money. You call it different name, you know, but at the end of the day, COVID is real. And let me show you one thing again. A lot of you look at all these beautiful cars all the time. Most of these cars are on credit. Whether it's a van, whether it's a normal car, as long as you have good credit, all you need to do is you just go to the showroom, you give them their data, and they will do a, a, a credit check on it. And straight away, you drive a brand new car. Straight away, you drive a brand new car. This is what we are saying. So when you look at all these, you know, look at that now, you know, these are, you know, this, this is a job, all these, you know, uh, you know, these are, they work with the council. It's called the Acme, this area is called the London Borough of Acme. So now this vehicle is a council vehicle. They get paid, they go around, pick up the trash and they take it down and they drop it and everybody's happy, right? But in Nigeria, right, those that works with the council are not getting paid. So you ask yourself, all this question and people don't understand you know why we say let us now say enough is enough let's see if i can take maybe one or two calls uh you know before i end the broadcast uh i will open the phone line if you know the number uh you can call the number uh if you haven't known the number i will tell you the number in just about a few minutes uh plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine so i'm going to open the phone line and then allow you to call as well this is uh you know the train station uh again uh plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine uh let's take maybe one or three callers that might want to add their voice to the conversation this morning once again my name is Olayo Mikoiki. your robust self-determination is non-negotiable we must break away from nigeria nigeria has killed so many dreams and it is time now that we say enough is enough. Bye bye, Nigeria. Au revoir, Nigeria. We are not interested in Nigeria. If anybody is interested in Nigeria, let them go to the north and become Nigeria. There's nothing called Nigeria. It was created by the 419 Great Britain, and it is time now we end that contraction. So I'm going to take you know one or two calls. Uh, you know, if you like to add your voice, uh, please. Uh, Anyone that is there, Alaji, Sulaiman, Eban, Eban, send number here. I'm not even reading my comment again. I, my comment seems to be stuck with uh, Shino Yusuf. So I don't know whether, you know, okay, I hope I'm still live though, anyway.
it seems I'm still live. Let me come back. I'm only seeing one comment. Okay, let me let me put the number out plus four four seven five so that anybody that wants to call bear with me i know there's a number there's somebody calling at the moment i want to put the number out bear with me uh caller uh that is the number okay now okay okay now nice. i can see the comment all right let's take uh i think there's a call coming through let's take this call let me put on speaker hello caller hey, 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 I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. i to. I'm going to. i to. I'm going to. I'm going to. i i to. I'm to. I'm going to. i i to. I'm to. i to. Eba fi da se to ni ke ba wa da se ni sin so e ba ka ba se to e pe mi pada leyin yen leye leyi broadcast All right then okay all right All right uh that's a different uh, you know plus 4475 okay let me try and pin the number uh one minute um let me pin the number bear with me everybody so that in case maybe I still have about 20 minutes before I I bring the show to an end All right so I'm going to pin the number now okay i've pinned the number for the benefit again you can see the police vehicle uh you know i've even you can see it's telling me you know wi-fi i can get a free wi-fi from this area right this is what we tell you internet is never a problem in this part of the world i can connect to different free hotspots there's a free hotspot somewhere here i saw earlier on so that's the number there plus four four seven five you can see free wi-fi o2 wi-fi you can see that so when we tell you that that country is not working some of you always don't understand that we mean what we say because nigeria can never work plus four four seven five nine four zero five zero nine seven nine so i'm gonna sit down here so this is where i'm gonna be sitting down for just for a few minutes and then uh, hopefully we get the number is already pinned you know if you look on the screen the number is pinned somebody's asking is the number pinned the number is pinned plus 44 75 94 050 979 it's very cold outside but uh you know we have to do what we have to do to enlighten our people back home especially those in nigeria you know that disagree with the biafra disagree with the middle belt disagree with the yoruba agitation they are wasting their time that country is never never going to work nigeria is gone and it is gone forever you know you can see the view uh again my name is olayomi koiki and uh, i say once again uh, let us you know end it peacefully if we don't end it peacefully it will eventually become bloody and uh, it's gonna happen whether you agree or not nigeria has failed there's nothing called nigeria nigeria is a uh, great britain uh you know uh, empire i think we have a caller from london let's take the caller hello, hello caller yeah, hello there. My name is Gus. I'm calling from here in London. Yeah, go ahead. I want to, I want to commend you for the good work you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, what you're doing is not easy, but it takes a man with courage to do what you're doing. Just keep it up, keep up the good work. All right. You know? Thank you very much. What, what's going on in Nigeria is not, it's not right, it's not normal. Anybody that says it's normal, that person is living in a different planet. Mm. You know? Okay. We, we've got so much. We, we, we have so much. Got yeah. Got, and we are, of course, people are living all mm. over the world. So, I need to go by the way, but I support yeah, you. Yeah, I can hear that. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, um, the, the, the people go down telling us, uh, I was saying, we go down like it, but this is lies. It's lies. Yeah, it's, we have, a, it's we have, lies. Yeah. We, we, have to, we have so much in common. We have so much in common. Mm. Mm. So, it's time we come together and, and reject this nonsense. Like all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a caller. Again, uh, don't be deceived when people say, you know, we have these, uh, you know, misunderstanding. You know, I've already said, uh, you know, Biafra will stay on their own. Our, we will stay on our own. I will respect their constitution. They will respect our constitution just the same way I have respect the constitution of this country that I'm living for the last two decades. The line is still open. I still have about another 10 minutes. And after that, I'm going to start winding down. I guess we have another caller and let's go straight to my next caller. Hello, caller. Hello, Baba. Hello, Baba. 
Thank you very much. Very, very cold here, uh, but again, uh, you know, we have to do what we have to do to continue the awareness. Uh, you know, media, like I always say, has a big role to play. Uh, continue to support, uh, you know, what we are doing. We need uh, more flyers. We need more work to be done at home. Uh, and what a lot of us don't understand is, you know, while we are outside the country, we should be kings and queens doing the same business and then export it out but it will not be us doing all this wahala we will be at home but the business will be running from nigeria if nigeria was working but now that nigeria is a fraud let us go back to where we belong let us go back to where we belong go and sign look forget about when people say petition there's so many petition out there sign it stop asking about which petition is real which petition is not real sign it We've not even get 100,000 on any of those petitions. So I don't want anybody asking us those questions. We have a caller now. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello. I'm muted back down. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to disconnect you. Please, if you're calling, mute the background one, please. I'm very cold outside. You can't. Ah, Lima Boy, can't do one. Nino Lika, to Magbo, can't do Magbo. Are you? Ah, I see. I see. Go. I just need to. Ah, I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going. 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 No, you got to me. I'm going to you. 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 I'
Nous avons dit que 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 Ben. Ben. Hmm. 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 There's no home. Yeah, mm. Alright. I said, I said, I Thank you very much. I said, I said, I said, I Sorry about that, uh, it's about three minutes there, so I uh, said so that we can get some, maybe one or two more callers. Uh, please continue to support. Look, a lot of people will always ask, you know, why do you need money, blah, blah. Look, let me say something clear here all the time. Me, I am not a blogger. I have told you that so many times. If you're looking for blogger, you better go and look for blogger, you know, like Tunde Head North. We are a media organization, and we're also using the, our media now to sacrifice, to make sure that we bring the awareness not just from UK, but right from Nigeria, where we are sending people, we are doing so many things at the same time. So please, you know, donate to us, support us, you know, give us your contribution. It will help us to do a lot. I have another caller now. Good morning, caller. Welcome to the broadcast. Hello, Coach. Okay. Market. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a market, market you know, if you don't see market lower. Yeah, 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 that's the market, Ben, yeah. Uh Toba series, why you tell me about the year? You call you want to kill low, how you might work on you. Eh, send in the dusty market. Ah, dusty market no way you want to see what you what I want to do. Ben, 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 it's a devil shit. Oh, very good. Ah, you understand, woman, woman. I know, I know, so I know. Mm. Uh, yeah, 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 Momo, you're right, bye. You're on the right hand, bye, Momo, Momo. Eh, Momo, 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 I'll be by Dada. Eh, Momo, I'll be by Dada. Eh, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Uh, it's all lies. It's all lies. I say gone about that. So everybody, you want to mm. read that you don't live. Oh, Benny, Benny. Hmm. 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 Hello. Eh? Mark and Lolly, there was there was a physician that traveled from Nigeria to uh, from US to Nigeria on December 15. Yes. Okuni January yes. 1st. Yes. Because there's no oxygen. How can we say a country does not have oxygen? And we have we have so much gas reserve. Are we not mad? Eh? Just simple thing. Simple gas. Thing. We don't have Just oxygen. Gas. Oxygen. Eh? And here in Europe, they are still saving eh? the lives of somebody that is a 90, you know, 96 year old woman, 86 year old man. They don't want them to die because they believe their Russia life is still valuable for them. You know? Then, eh? So, uh, eh? people say, you know, we should keep one, keep one Nigeria. Orishabu eh? died because there is no oxygen in our hospital. So, you know, 
So oku so oku so oku so wa on actual at addresses in all lower because they keep supporting all these fraudulent politicians and it's up to them now you know that uh, they need to understand that that country will never 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 work. Eh e se gbo ni baba mi e je je ke lo ke lo mi tu pe wole. Lagboro Olorun, lagboro Olorun. Insha Allah, insha ko dukar ko ma lo nlo e enough is enough. E wo baba, e wo baba gba lagba yin nisin, bo se ran lo kembele kembele, eh? Bo je Nigeria ni sin ni, no hope. Eh? Eh? You know? At the end of the day, you know, we literally turn all our, our our old fathers, you know, we turn them to witches and wizards. And it shouldn't be so. Eh? That is some of the witches and wizards. Because we are not taking care of them. A country that cannot even take care of itself. How is it going to take care of us? Anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Very, very, very. Eh. Eh. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's total madness. Total madness. Total madness. I shake on All right, there. I shake on Thank you very much. Please, uh, again, uh, you know, support our media. Uh, you know, donate to us so that we can do so many things that we love to do, but uh, without funding, we can only do less. So make sure you donate to us. You know, PayPal. You know, Cash App for those of you in America. Bank accounts here in UK. And it's also for those in Nigeria, you know, send us an error as well. We have so much, you know, when it comes to the awareness. But uh, if we don't have, you know, the support, there's less that we can do as well. Uh, every time people want us to do stickers. But at the end of the day, uh, I want to show you, we've asked you, to, even if it's for you to give us, you know, your very cold, you know, my, my hand is already frozen at the moment, you know, freezing, freezing cold. I want to show you. We told you, give us um, leaflets. F1 leaflets, so that we can, you know, we want a lot. We want to do a lot, but uh, people think uh, it's a joke. But again, we are doing our best. Let me show you. I'm going to turn the camera around now. We need flyers. I'm going to put the account details out in a minute. Look at that. We need to do more of these. Okay? Look, I'm, there's no blood circulating in my hand. Eric Page, anti freeze. You can see it's frozen already. You can see. You can see you can see my hands the blood is not running through again so we want to do more of these if you want to do it for us fine if you want to give us money give us money so that we can be able to do so so i'm going to post the account number now please you know don't hesitate uh it doesn't matter how small how big we need to create that awareness that awareness is not going to stop i have told you you think i'm going to sit down in the house and just do broadcast no we're gonna come out sometime like this so that we can tell people you know the, the the opportunity that is there the reason why all these businesses are running properly in this country is because there's opportunity if we have that same opportunity in Nigeria we will not be here in the first place because there's no opportunity that opportunity is not there nobody's been given any opportunity so let us now say to the international community and then people say oh how many petition is out there forget about that go and sign any petition sign those petition so that it can become more of the pressure we don't want look we don't want to go to war we don't want to fight them but these bastards they know they're not going to listen to united nation but we can continue to put the pressure on them just like our father professor ban jackito you have said we can put the pressure on them you know look at it can you see royal mail right Right? Can you see the Royal Mail? You see that car is, is zero emission, electric car. So I hope that everybody will understand that, uh, you know, we have to continue, uh, you know, to do what we are doing. Uh, let me read some of the comments as well. Now I've got my other phone up so I can read some of your comments. It is very cold, very, very cold. My hands, you know, there's no blood running through it at the moment, as you can see, you know, freezing cold. But again, we have to do what we have to do. Uh, all hail the Biafra. Uh, yes, no more night post. Night post is gone long time ago. You know, when you look at all these beautiful cars, they are all on credit. They are all on credit. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Motiri, 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 motiri. So, anyway, guys. So guys, um, I'm going to 
you know, I'm gonna go now. Please um, support us so that we can do more. You know, uh, <laughs> I want your tea. You know, I know I should get the gloves. You know, but sometimes I, you know, I want those politicians to see. Shall the people watch? This is what we do all the time. This is what we go through. On that note, I will end it here. Have a very good morning. Have a very good afternoon. Nigeria will break, but every one of us has a role to play. Bye for now.